Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about repetition. And I hope you guys know what repetition is because it's just the act of repeating something. But what do you think repetition in programming would be? I'll give you two options to guess from. It's either the act of eating candy bars or the act of repeating one line of code over and over again. You have three seconds to guess. Okay, if you guess the candy bars, go have a candy bar and leave the video. Anyways, let's start with repeating codes of line. Let's say we had this line right here. See out, hello, and L. We wanted to print the word hello on the screen. But let's say we wanted to do it 10 times. We would have to type it up 10 times unless you copied and pasted it. Then you just have to click Control C, Control V. 10 times if you're doing if you're using a PC and then the command C command V if you're using a Mac 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 nope okay 10 there you go okay so let's see if it works debug yes and of course it works here you go 10 times of hello and each one of them is on a line because of the end L right here okay so, what, what if you wanted to actually do this without typing up all these lines? Because it's the same act that we're doing, we're just doing it over and over again. What if you wanted to do it a billion times? Would we type it up a billion times? No. So, this is how the while loop, which is one of the repetition statements in C++ or in any programming language, works. Because there are three of them that I use while loop, do while loop, and for, for loop. Um, okay, so basically, this is how it goes. Let's declare something um, int n equals zero, give n the value of zero, and from here, let's start our while loop. This is how the syntax goes. While, now this is a reserved word, while, the condition goes here, okay, and then the body of the while loop starts here and it ends here because we want this see out statement to be in here. Now we can have multiple statements like something else here. It doesn't have to be only one line of code. So this is the body of the while loop and this is the condition of the while loop and this is the while, like the word while, whatever. Okay, so basically this we know how to do. We already learned how to declare a variable and you know give it a value of zero or any value for that matter. So now n is equal to zero and to print this out ten times all we have to do is give it a condition so n is less than ten. Now let me explain what this does. The while loop basically looks at this condition. If this boolean expression or condition is true, okay, if this evaluates to true, then it goes into the while loop and it starts right here, right after the um, curly bracket. And then it applies all the statements in the while loop and when it reaches this point right here, before, just before the end of the while loop or the body of the while loop, it goes back, it makes a U-turn and goes back to the condition and asks again if this statement or this condition is true or not. If it's true, it'll go back again inside the while loop and apply it again. And then go back here. When, once it reaches here, it go, makes a U-turn, goes back and asks the question again, is this true? And it does it again and again and again. In this case, n is zero. Okay. Of course, once this is false, um, the computer will just exit the while loop and go here and complete the code right here and do something else. Okay, so in this case, n equals zero. Now the, 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 the while loop is basically asking, is n less than 10? Okay, that's the condition. If this is true, then do this. If not, exit and complete the code here, where, which in this case, there's no other code, but yeah. Okay, so n is less than 10 indeed, because n is zero, so it's going to go in and then print hello on the screen. Okay, and then it's going to get here and make a U-turn and ask the question again. Is n less than 10? 
Well, zero is still zero, so zero is less than 10. Yes, it's going to do it again, and then it's going to do it again, and again, and again, and it's never going to stop. So this, in this situation, it's going to do it forever, okay? It's not going to stop, the, you know, doing, printing out hello on the screen. So that's why we add this line, which is n equals n plus 1. Now, let's read it with this line. So it starts with n equals 0, and it goes into the while loop. Is n less than 10? Yes, that is true. So it goes here, because 0 is less than 10. It goes here, prints out hello on the screen, and then gives n the value of n, the old n, plus 1. The old n was 0. Plus 1, it's 1. So the new n is now 1. Okay, gets here, makes a U-turn to here, and asks the question. And remember, it makes the U-turn to the condition. Now, it does not leave the while loop and go here. Okay, it just stays in the while loop here. This is all it works in. It like goes in loops until it's done. Okay, so now n is 1. Is n less than 10? Well, yes, and that's why it's going to print hello again, and then it's going to add the value of 1 to the old n, which was recently made to 1. So 1 plus 1 equals 2, and that's why n is now 2. Gets here, makes that u-turn, and comes back here, asks the question, is n less than 10? Now 2 is less than 10, so it goes here, prints hello, and then does this, and this makes n 3. And it keeps doing this until it reaches 9, okay? So now n is 9. After it added it from 8, now n is 9. 9 is 9 less than 10. Yes. So it prints this for the 10th time. Okay. And then it adds the value of 1 to the old n, which was 9. And now n is 10. And now it goes here and makes that u-turn. And now n, remember, is 10. So it's going to ask the question, is n less than 10? Well, n is 10, so is 10 less than 10? The answer is no, because n is equal to 10. It's not less than it. And that's why we exit the loop right after this. We jump from here to here. Okay, we don't do the loop again. We don't execute the statements of the loop, because this condition evaluated to false this time. And once it evaluates to false, that's it. You're out of the while loop. Okay? So now even if you change the n here, make it make it make it back to 4, that's it, you're done, you're out of the loop, okay? Because remember, it goes from top to bottom, and once you're over with this part, you go here, that's it. It has nothing to do with it. Okay, so basically, unless you were in a bigger while loop, and you go back here, but, but never mind, I don't want to confuse you with that stuff. Just know for now that that's how it works, and let's see if it actually works that way. Start without debugging, yes. And here you go. Ten hellos. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. And hello. Okay, so ten hellos. And it did work. Now, remember that we, we said that you can make this into an n++ if you're adding one to it. Like that. Okay. So this basically does the same thing. Remember, also, I want to mention one thing. That you can change the initial value to one, for instance, and make this n equal, n less or equal to ten which would still print hello on the screen 10 times because you're starting from 1, so you started later, but then you stopped later because now it's not only less than 10, the condition is n less than 10, now it's is, is n less or equal to 10. So once n is 10, it's going to still execute this. Okay, Basically the first time it did it from 0 to 9, and you know from 0 to 9, that's 10 times. The second time, it did it from 1 to 10, and again, from 1 to 10, that's 10 times, and even from 2 to 11, um, you know, that's basically 10 times. So, play with these conditions, you know, right here, the initial value. This is called the initial value. This is the condition. This is the statement, the while, the while statement, or the while loop, and these are the, uh, the uh, borders of it, I guess, or you can, they're just the brackets the body of the while loop, and these are the statements in the while loop, okay? You can also print n itself if you wanted to, okay? And that'll just give you the numbers from, here you'll see. It'll actually start with 1 and 
go all the way up to 10. Here it is, from 1 to 10, it'll count down for you. Or it count up, but it's whatever. Anyways, so yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. You can print n plus 1, you can change it, you can have two, um, two uh, initial, like you can have this n equals 1, and then you can have another i in here, and you can add i to it. You, you can do a lot of things that we're going to cover in my next videos. So um, practice on this, and make sure you understand what a while loop is, and yeah, go on to my next video. It's really simple English, guys. While this is true, do this. When this is not true, exit. Don't do this. That's it, basically. Okay, watch my next videos. Bye.